Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In this video we will start drawing our lessons project which is an oceanographic center. For that we are going to use a handmade sketch of the building cross section as a base. So first we are going to import the sketch into AutoCAD using the image attach command. So we type in image attach enter. Now we are going to look over here for a sketch. Click open. Ok. A couple of more clicks to insert the image. Now that we have inserted the image, first of all we have to scale it down so we can use it as we want to to draw with accurate and precise measures we needed to to have our project's dimensions and one thing that we know about this project is that it is 50 meters long so we can actually use that length to scale down the image so we're going to use the scale tool, SC enter, select the image, enter, click here as a base point. Now we're going to type R for reference. And we make a click here, move to the other side, click and type in 50, enter. Now we can verify that it has been properly scaled down using our distance tool, so the I enter make a click here and move to the other side and as you can see it's already telling us it's 50 meters long. Our following step is going to be to draw the ground line but before of that let's make a couple of adjustments so we can draw things more easily. So let's go and select the image and over here on top on the ribbon we can change different parameters, for example the brightness, we can lower down the brightness and raise up a little bit the fade control. Now let's unselect the image and we're going to change our default color from by layer to red. So whenever we draw on top of the image, you see we can clearly identify what we, we have drawn. Now let's start drawing using our polyline tool. So we come over here, PL. And also let's activate our auto guide tool. So whatever we draw is going to be either horizontal or vertical. So F8, click here. And as I told you before, we want to make a precise drawing. So we're going to start typing measures for different elements. For example, for the stairs, we're going to draw the steps of the stairs that will be normally 17 centimeters high and around 30 centimeters wide. Again, 17 up and 0.3 right. But instead of drawing each step individually, what we're going to do is to select these two steps that we have already drawn copy them and paste them several times so we can draw our stars more quickly now let's stretch this line of this step over here and continue drawing this again we are going to draw these steps but for the entrance stairs let's say they are also 17 centimeters high, but 45 centimeters wide. Again, we select the step and copy paste them, paste it several times. It's way faster this way. And I'll again, extend this line over here. Okay. Our next step is going to be to draw the floor slab. And so we ask again for polyline two. Click here to this other side. Click. Next are going to be these internal walls, and for that we can use the X line tool. So X L enter and type in B for vertical lines, and we make click, 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 and click. Now we can trim out the rest of the lines that we don't need using the trim tool, TR enter, select this line as an edge, 
then these other lines we trimmed it again for this lower part of the lines okay now let's close this this part of the building pl move to the top and also close the ground line over here okay the next thing we're going to do is to add the height of the handrails to these two handrails over here so let's move this 90 centimeters up okay again we select the line click on the blue vertex and we're going to stretch it 90 centimeters by an inch also let's trim the rest of the line of our floor slab over here we select this line as an edge click and the same here sometimes you need to zoom in a little bit more to see if the lines are properly drawn or if you need to extend or trim a part of it so as far as we have gone we have already drawn the baselines for the lower level of our building and we mostly use the polyline tool for it and another two or three options so on our next lesson we will finish drawing the lower level adding the thickness of the different elements and also continue drawing different elements over here like the doors or these other stairs and also we will continue by drawing the upper level of our project so thank you for watching and stay tuned for our next lesson